So our fourth type of calculation is going to concern standard deviation as well, but this is something that we call relative standard deviation. Now this is a term that we have talked about before when we began talking about the methods and when we began talking about what GMP, GLP really is. So what is this relative standard deviation? Well, it goes by an abbreviation and the abbreviation that we often use is RSD. So anytime you see RSD as far as part of a calculation is concerned, it's representing relative standard deviation. And this is what we do. Very simple calculation to do if you have the pieces and parts already. So here we have a set of data. 116, 97.9, 114, 106, 108. And we have already calculated the average. We've calculated the median, which was the middle set or the middle number of the set. And then we've calculated standard deviation. So standard deviation was basically precision. How close were the measurements to each other? Very often in a lab, though, relative standard de or standard deviation could lead us to misinterpret some of the data. So for instance, here we have reasonable numbers that we could relate to, right? And we can do a standard deviation and say 7.14 is the standard deviation. But what does that really mean? Is that standard deviation large or is that standard deviation small? That's always the question that we have. And we can't really answer that question unless we compare that standard deviation to another number. So for instance, if I had measurements that were 0.116, 0.978, you know, how would that standard deviation compare? Is that a really big or is that a really small number compared to the data set that I provided? We just simply don't know until we take it another step further. Okay, so standard deviation is basically what I'm saying is that it's half the story. You're almost there. You're not quite there, but you're getting closer. You're getting warmer. Okay, so relative, that's what that term means. Relative standard deviation. It means I'm comparing my standard deviation to something else. So that way it can become relative. I can compare it and maybe look at this and say, it's at large, is it small? Okay, so to calculate relative standard deviation, very easy. The only thing that I have to do is take my standard deviation and I divide by the average. And then I multiply by 100 if I want percent RSD. Okay, so there's two things kind of embedded into this equation. We can do S divided by X bar to give me relative standard deviation. Or I can take S divided by X bar times 100 and that gives me percent RSD. Alright, so in this previous problem, we had a standard deviation of 7.14 and we had an average of 108.6. I'm going to take those two numbers, divide them and multiply by 100. So 7.14 divided by 108.6 times 100 equals 7.57. And that's my percent RSD. The higher the percentage, that means your numbers are more varied, which means they're not precise. And this is typically the final number that we look at when we assign um, points or uh, information based on your relative standard deviation or your precision. We take it to this level. We take it all the way down to relative standard deviation. We multiply by 100 because people simply just do not like the idea of working with decimal numbers. 
So um, 0 0.0657, they're just uncomfortable with that. So we multiply by 100 to get it to an actual real number as far as percentage goes. People like 6.57 a little bit better than 0 0.0657, right? So that's why that happens. So that's percent relative standard deviation. So again, higher the percentage, more varied the numbers are, which means you are not precise in your measurements. And this way, this allows us to compare the standard deviation to the average. And we get a better picture of your precision by doing that, right? 7.14 doesn't really mean anything at all. 7.14 is, you know, 7.14 is different if your numbers are hundreds of thousand or if your numbers are on the 20s and 30 level, right? 7.14 standard deviation with numbers that are 20, 25, 22, 21, well, those numbers are all over the place if you have a standard deviation of 7.14. If you have a standard deviation of 7.14 with numbers that have values of 1,223, 1,225, 1,227, that standard deviation means something a little bit different. So that's why we have relative standard deviation. It allows me to take the standard deviation calculation and it allows me to assign it to correct it for basically the number itself. How big or how small are the actual numbers that you're using from the beginning? So this is what we really gravitate toward when we begin to assign points based on precision. It's the relative standard deviation that I do. So standard deviation divided by your average times it by 100 to get it over to percentage. It really is a percentage because we do that and that's percent RSD. All right, so that's it of this video. That's relative standard deviation for you. And then coming up next, we will continue on with this idea of statistics.